There's a lot of Christians that don't know him. They know he died. They know he rose. They, they even know the anointing. Did not my heart burn? Well, that's the anointing. But they're as blind as bats. They don't even know him. He didn't reveal himself to them. Well, that's what we want. We don't just want to know him as the crucified Messiah. Or the living Messiah. Or the one who anoints us. We want to know him. Amen. Lift your hands and say, I want to know you, Lord. Deep within my soul, I want to know you. And then comes the heart that's satisfied. Well, now you know him. Now he has revealed himself to you. But how does the process begin? It begins with Matthew 16, 24, 25, 26. That's what it begins with. And that's what nobody's preaching anymore. For it says in Matthew 16, 24, Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross. And follow me. Whoever will save his life will lose it. Whoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. Same in John 12, 21 through 26. Except a corn falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it will bear fruit. What did Paul say to us? Paul was saying something so powerful. In Romans 8.13, he, he made a powerful statement about what the Christian life is really all about. And this we do daily. I have to do it daily. And if I don't do it daily, I lose on that day. I'm going through it now as I'm talking to you. I was crying today just thinking about this. Before God Almighty... Romans 8, 13, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you will live. See, Paul discovered that he's a wretched vessel. Romans 7, 24, he said, he said, oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of corruption? I got to be free. Now he came to the conclusion that only the Holy Spirit can give you that power to yield. Philippians 2.13. What does he say in that amazing chapter? You see, that's, that's the beginning. And this is what, what the devil will fight you big time on. He'll, he'll, he'll fight you continually. Philippians 2.13. It's God who works in you to will and to do. And I mentioned that. God gives you the desire. But now we come, we, we come to the place where the transformation begins. It's got to begin there. We come back to the cross. Because if we're not at the shadow, under the shadow of the cross, we'll not know the power for transformation. Because the cross of Jesus is the highest expression of the life of the Spirit. No, you, you, you didn't understand what I said. When you come to the cross, that's when the Holy Spirit comes alive to transform you. Until we know the power of the cross, we'll never know the power of the Spirit. 